morning. <laughs> it is early, but on days when I go to work, first of all, you guys are so close to my face, but oh. well, like I said, days that I go into work, I like to leave here at like 7 20. Um, actually here. I like to leave at around 7.20 only because I have my first meeting at 8.15 but I hate hate, hate, hate getting there exactly at 8.15. I just need to like situate myself. So, so yeah. I'm about to be on my way to work or whatever oh and it's our holiday <clears throat> it's our holiday potluck thingy and this is the first year that i'm not making anything for it i'm just going to chick-fil-a and um i'm going to chick-fil-a and i'm buying the some tray of nuggets i'm doing a tray of nuggets so this parking spot, or not parking spot, but the parking lot for my building is so tight. Cause you know, they gotta fit so many cars. But yeah, so. <sighs> On my way. I need a coffee. And like a croissant sandwich or something. But, surprise, surprise y'all. I woke up with a flat stomach after eight consecutive not eight 18 consecutive weeks of working out i am finally starting to see the difference especially in my face so that makes me so sweet 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 happy because that's where i know i gained weight when you see your double chin double chinning and doing the thing that it do and you're like every angle doesn't matter what angle these pictures are coming out and I look like una cara de papa. So I was like, mm -mm. I will not, will not look like a bag of potatoes, period. And that's all facts, no printer. Ew, that was so ugly, okay. First one in the office. Whew. It is cold outside. But yeah, we made it safe and sound. Oops. Ta da! Hey guys, <clears throat> it is lunchtime, so it's 12 o'clock, but girl i walked out the house so ashy and i don't know where i put all my lotions here it is so it's actually kind of nice to be the bag lady only because when you're the bag lady you have all your things when needed so today's our potluck and like I said, I didn't bring anything and I forgot it was also white elephant. Oh my God. <clears throat> Ooh, scandalous, my thighs are out. But I forgot that it was white elephant. So I'm gonna run to the mall real quick. Since I didn't cook anything, I ordered, um, I ordered Chick-fil-A. Surprisingly, I got Chick-fil-A nuggets and I'm not liking my hair in this little ponytail. So I'm gonna do a slick back. Oh. Let's see. The back lady, but I don't have a brush, so there's that. There you go. Oh yeah. She's a little 
Girl, I am disheveled today. Oh, I didn't show you guys my work outfit. Show you in a minute, but yeah, so. <sighs> Tell me you're unorganized without telling me you're unorganized. And I have the nuggets are ready at 1245. have on this like white skirt and this blouse this and then shoes are like burgundy burgundy little strap ups these are so old from Steve Madden there go and you can see the shirt so I'm gonna go to the store and then this pink little jacket is from Uniqlo 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 I got it as my secret Santa gift Martha was my secret Santa she's the blonde white looking friend even though she's Latina so bye <laughs> Literally got everything. Yeah. Got the gift, the bag, and the tissue paper at the Amazon store. <laughs> All right. So I got cute gifts from the Amazon store. If you haven't been to the Amazon store at Montgomery Mall, you're missing out. They have really cool just gifts that you don't have to wait for it in the ship. It's like what you would find on Amazon. So I got a, um, oh, shoot, I wrapped it up so I didn't show you. But I got this cute book. That says 101 dad, uh, bad dad jokes. Only because this is White Elephant. And White Elephant, you're supposed to have like a funny gift. And the limit was $25. So I got that book. I got a um, wine and champagne stopper. Or not stopper, but um, like cap. So you, you can keep wine fresher. And then I also got this multi-use beer can opener, bottle can opener, wine opener. And like wine, um, it rips like it takes the... The plastic park off part off it like whatever. So I got those things, things that I know that people will use if you drink. Even if you don't drink, you can have non-alcoholic beverages that are packed, sealed, and you need an opener for. So that's what I got. And then I also got this cute bag and tissue paper. Everything there, 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 there. Okay, so now I'm on my way, or I will be on my way to go pick up the tray of chicken nuggets from Chick-fil-A because I just, I did not time manage correctly and I did not time manage for this potluck. I usually bring like real food. I mean, chicken nuggets are real food, but real home cooked food, like Latin food. Last year I brought pupusas. Uh, multiple years before that in other jobs, I always brought like uh, pastelitos de queso and carne, like cheese and, and beef, like Dominican style pastelitos or empanadas, empanadas. So this year they're getting chicken nuggets and guess what? If they don't want them, I'm gonna eat them. People talk about it and they realize, do you have people like that with pull up their phones up? I made it home, back to my house. I missed my brother. Ooh. Oh, nice. Thank you. At our house. Whoa. Whoa. Que es eso? Que es eso? What is this? No. <laughs> Is in truck? He's like, is this is this? Huh? Mas. Mas de qué? Mas. Mas de estos? ¿Qué color es este? Red. 
Good job, este? No. Good job, este? No. no. Yellow. Good job, este? Green. Green, high five! Yeah! Put away clothes. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> Good afternoon. I was going to do a check-in this morning, but I had a call. And then Dennis was like, let's just get our workout over with. So we went around 11-ish. So I'm back. Dennis came back before me. He's already showered. I'm jealous. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> so um, I came back and I'm going to finish some work before I shower. I got to do, actually, I could shower now. I can shower now because I don't have to do any calls until like around two-ish. And that's all I have to do today. But let me show you this cute little gift I got for my nephew. Actually, should I show it? My brother might watch this. Who cares? My brother can see it. He'll like it. But it's from Kiwi Co. It's a Kiwi Co is like a subscription. It gives you 12 months of boxes that are interactive based on your child's age. So since Sebastian's only two, he's in the um he's a koala crate, which is such a cute name, but let me show you. So here's the crate and hold on, I'm just covering my address. So the gift message was to our little genius. We hope this year is filled with wonder and curiosity. Te amamos, Titi and Dennis. But um, the crate comes with a little doctor visit. This is his first one. And it shows you just like how to use band-aids and things of that sort. And you could just use all your tools on your stuffed animals. It also came with a little book, which is so cute. And then these are all the little Velcro toys just to get his mind and his imagination going. And I think it's so sweet. There's like little stickers or Velcro stickers you can put on his little, his little doctor bag. And um, yeah, more little cards and stuff. But I don't know if anybody has children that may want a cute gift that keeps on giving because again it's for 12 months so he's gonna get a little box that says to sebastian and i think that this is a genius gift sebastian doesn't need any more clothes or toys he has so many so every month it'll be like just a different genre i'm assuming this is my first time but this his first box is doctor's visit so i thought that was super cool and then i wanted to show you guys this really cute Pixar that I got for my secret Santa, which was Alex. We did that during our little, we did it during our secret Santa cocktails and stuff. If you haven't seen that vlog, it's in another vlog. But I got her, you know, those cute little thingies. Hold on. Like those cute. So it could go like on her desk. So Alex and I have been friends since sophomore year of high school and growing up when we were like 18 and just being crazy and wild, our favorite song was Flashback from Calvin Harris. So I wanted to do Flashback and at 1.48 minutes, that's when like the chorus um, starts like, this is but a flashback. That If you don't know the song, please listen, please listen to it. So, and then I took this picture of us. We were just so young and cute and it's just to, you know, always remind us how far we've we've came and how far our friendship is going to continue to go so i thought that was super cute and it didn't come in time for the actual secret santa but i showed her what i got her and you know we oh my address um i showed her what i got her and it was really sweet really cute so i just need to wrap it up and give it to her or maybe just give it to her like that because she already knows what it is but yeah so today that's that and maybe i'll just show you guys my skin my morning skincare routine after I shower and all. So, yeah, yeah. Hey guys, so I'm fresh out the shower. I'm going to leave my hair natural and let's see how it does. Um, 
I just put on a little Moroccan oil and a tiny bit of like curl, like cream stuff. So we'll see. My hair is not as curly as it used to be only because I just blow dry it so much. And I also realize I don't have like a regular regular blow dryer so I could diffuse. When I diffuse my hair, if you have curly wavy hair and you have never used a diffuser to try to see how your curls really are and how to get the definition of them, definitely try the diffuser. But I wanted to show you guys my morning um, morning skincare routine, which I didn't do this morning because it's literally like 3 p.m. But I'm gonna do it anyways because I washed my face and I use CeraVe right now. <clears throat> it's in my shower but I've been using the CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser. It is really good. It doesn't leave my skin feeling too taut, too tight after I wash. I don't have a favorite. I literally change my face wash after every time a bottle is done. Once it's empty, I go to Target, which is where I go to get most of my skin stuff. Go to Target and I'm like, hmm, tried this one. Um, what else can I try? And if I really hate it, then I can go return it. But I have pretty good um, bearable skin. It doesn't really get too irritated. Only when I use my AHA, BHA, Den um, Dr. Dennis something pads. Oh, that's where it burns. So I only use that um, sporadically. I don't use it that often. So in the morning, all I do is wash my face, dampen my face, and I use a hyaluronic acid, a vitamin C, a lotion, and then sunblock. Those are the four main, are these, those are the four only steps that I use during my morning uh, skincare routine. So to start off, clip my hair. So to start off, I always like to dampen my skin a little bit. I feel like when you dampen your skin, the formula, the liquid, the serum, all of that kind of gets sucked into your skin as, it, as the water is evaporating. So you get better absorption. So I don't like my face too wet, so I just dampen my hands. I, got, I did both, but I usually, usually just use one. So... This is about how damp we like it. Not too wet, not too dry. This feels a little wet, so I'm just gonna air it out a bit. So I'm using Nutrium, Natrium, no, Nature EM. I don't know how to pronounce it, but you could get this at uh, Target and I'm using the Quadruple Hyaluronic Acid Serum. One pump of that. and we just apply it all over your skin. And I like to press it in at the end. And as well as my serums, hyaluronic acid, BHA, vitamin C, which is also a vitamin C complex serum is also from Natrium. I switch up all my serums as well. I, I don't know why I do that, we're applying the vitamin C serum now and again pressing it into the skin I do that because there's so there is a vast majority of brands and I don't know I don't know how you get these numbers like whatever they want to say the compounds and stuff there's a vast majority of it so i don't like to just stick with one brand that i've tried because i've had the good jeans not good jeans but i've had the sunday riley vitamin c loved it now my nutrium loved it i've done sarah v's vitamin c loved it so it all it doesn't really matter just stick with a routine and stick with what you're using it doesn't matter what brand it is as long as it's the same serum like vitamin c if i'm speaking about vitamin c i'm rambling but anyways next up i use uh cetaphil which is just moisturizing lotion body and face nothing too fancy i have nighttime lotions and the nighttime one is a little more fancy because it's supposed to do a little more so it has a little more things in it like retinol or it it includes 
anti-wrinkle and you know while you sleep because you know while you sleep is the best time to put super concentrated serums because you're just laying down not moving not touching and you're good to go and then lastly i'll do sunblock but the sun's already down and i'm inside the apartment and i have been in the apartment the entire day so I'm not going to do that. Um, if you do sit next to a window though, I do highly recommend that you use a sunblock even if you're indoors, but because I've already pretty much gone through the majority of my day without it, there's no point for me to do it. But vitamin C and hyaluronic acid, yes, I will do it. I don't care if my first time I wash my face is 4 p.m., I'm gonna do it at 4 p.m. But so far using these, you can find this online. I don't know if they sell it at Ulta and Sephora. I know they sell it at Target. They might sell it at Ulta, but really affordable, about $20 a piece. So not too crazy. You don't need $80 serums, $60 serums um, in order to reap the benefits and see results. What you need to do is just be consistent. So if you're using an Olay or CeraVe or um, I don't know, any other brand that you can find, at a normal novel, not novelty store, but normal just store like Target, Ulta, then I highly recommend it. Find something that fits within your budget, find something that you like and stick to a routine and just be consistent and you will be happy with the results because she's looking good. I do need to use more acids. I don't know, I hate, I hate saying acids. I don't know if it's an acid. Well more solutions definitely for um the buildup of blackheads and whiteheads in my nose so probably be using that tonight but yeah that is my skincare daily routine before anything so thanks between gen x and gen y they blended and made xy <laughs> you know i did the uh date the bisexual guy thing in college but in the end they all ended up with men so the bisexual women. Happy check-in. It's so dark in here because it's, I'm just relaxing. I did my nails, I showed you guys. Um, I'm watching A Little Sex in the City. This is my like last episode, I've seen two. I'm gonna watch one more episode and then I'm gonna start putting away clothes and organizing my closet. Not my, not my master closet or the walk-in, excuse me, but the closet in my room, I'm gonna put away my clothes and try to fill up those little rolling drawers that I have in the closet, so. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay, so to hold myself accountable and to get, hold on, my camera's a little greasy for me. There you go, better. And to get this corner done, I'm gonna show you guys what this corner looks like. And mind you, it's all clean clothes. It's just like sitting because I just haven't put them away. So let me show you guys. This is the corner. Mind you, this table and chair situation is a mess. Um, This is a table I got from Ikea. And it was supposed to go in the living room, but when we got two couches, the table was just like a too big of a side table. So I brought it in here in the meantime. This chair is also something I had in the living room. But again, once I got two couches, it just didn't make sense in the living room. Um, I think I can put that over here, just move the trash can. So I don't really know. And then more clothes here. Big old thing of makeup that I don't even use anymore because I just don't use eyeshadow like that anymore. But yeah, so we're gonna put all this shit away. Wish me luck. Ta-da! <clears throat> so I moved this here for now. It's still a fucking mess. I need to return that. This chair was a gift. And I love this chair, so it's gonna have to stay here. And then I'm almost done. I have this last bit of shoes I gotta put away. But I think um, I'll do that. Once Christmas is over and I've given the tree away because it's just that box is in the way. And then this is Dennis's ugly ass chair. Oh my gosh. I asked him to sell it because he doesn't even work here. So that's it. We'll do painting there, mirror there, 
carpet here slowly but surely. Yay!